Hey babes, it's Sav and welcome back to Sav's Reality. Today, as usual, my life is a bit of a mess. So if you hear any um, loud banging noises, that is still <laughs> the apartments working on the roofs of the building and whatever. It's really annoying because they're taking away all of our parking spots and I can't take my dog out in the mornings and it's just um, frustrating. <laughs> But yeah, and then on top of that, I'm like getting over a cold that I've had for the past week. So it's just been um good old time. But anyways, today I got my Ipsy and my BoxyCharm in. They never come in this close together. Like it never happens. Um, This one came in, oops, this one came in, Um, what was it, Saturday? And then this one came in Monday. So yeah, I'm super excited. So we're going to go ahead and unbox these and see what we got this month. I can't remember what we started with last time, but I'm going to go ahead and start with BoxyCharm this time. I'm really sad because I don't have my cute knife. Um, I think I used it to cook dinner last night, so I'm just using this plain Jane knife. So yeah, but anyways, um, if you're not aware, BoxyCharm is a $21 a month subscription service where you get five full-size makeup items, sometimes skincare. And it looks like this. And let's go ahead and open it up. Let me see if I can grab the card. So this theme is BoxyCharm All Access. And it does have this card that tells you everything we got and the prices of those. So, yeah. Let's see. I'm not going to, like, look into it. I'm just going to grab, like, the first thing. Okay, so the first thing we're getting is this set of Moda brushes. It's a five-piece deluxe eye kit. Wow, I actually... Yeah, I'm going to keep this. This is something I would really use. This retails for $27.95. Let me go ahead and break it open and show you all the brushes that we're getting. Ooh, I like the texture on them. So this is what, you see how it's kind of like studded almost? So we're getting this brush right here. And what is this one called? This one's called the Detail BMX 420. Um, it says it's ideal for applying shadow or highlighting your inner corner, which I can agree with on that. I personally just use my pinky, but this could work too. The other one that we got looks like this, and this is the smudge brush. Um, it says perfect for applying color to your upper and lower lash line. Yes, or smudging eyeliner for a soft, smoky look. I don't really wear eyeliner, so I don't smudge eyeliner because I don't wear it. Um, okay, so then the next one we got is this little angled brush, and it says this one is their line brush, BMX 498. It says expertly line upper and lower lash lines with this chiseled edge. Also ideal for filling brows. I would use this for filling brows. Um, I don't really do the lower lash line just because, not that my eyes are small because they're not, but I, I just think it gets crowded sometimes, and I haven't mastered it, so I'm not going to do something that I haven't mastered, like, you know? Anyways, there's two more, so we have this one right here. And this is the shade. It says apply color to your lid and use as a smart blending brush to soften harsh lines. Yes, yes. Um, and then we have this one, the crease brush. And I, it's funny because I prefer these crease brushes for blending, which, I mean, come at me. I don't really care. Um, but it says define and blend the crease um, or use to buff over your entire lid. And so I will definitely use all of these because I'm so bad at washing my brushes. And then, like, it just takes forever to dry. That's the main thing. Like, it's not that I don't want to, like, do the work because it's not that it's hard. It just, they take forever to dry. I've thought about doing, like, a testing, um, like, does this thing really work kind of thing with different um makeup tools and one of those could be a like way to clean your brushes if you want to do that go ahead and comment down below that that's something that you'd like to see and i'll go ahead and um buy that with my next paycheck but anyways the next thing i'm gonna reach in and grab there's a lot of bubble wrap so i'm just gonna grab the first thing that's in that Ooh, it's from laura geller i love laura geller okay what is this it looks like a highlight this is baked gelato swirl illuminator in the shade ballerina and go ahead and pop that open so that's what that looks like it's like a little swirl and that's a good thing I'm gonna keep it because I accidentally got my finger in it let's just ooh. okay so that's what that looks like yeah I'll definitely use this because like whenever you like blend it out I feel like you could build it but it's very very creamy 
yeah that's nice i'm definitely going to be using that and this retails for 26 dollars. so we already have 27 and 26 just with these two this is kind of small like i feel like i'd hit paint on this pretty quickly that's probably like my only complaint but we got this laura geller blush and i'm wearing it right now actually i love it so much um it was like one of those that was like kind of like a little like a little hilltop I don't know what to call it y'all know what I mean like it wasn't flat and it's almost flat now because I use it so much it is definitely my go-to blush and so I'm really glad that they gave us Laura Geller again I'm pretty far like so far I'm pretty impressed like BoxyCharm I've kind of been considering canceling but anyways the next thing that I'm grabbing is it a lipstick oh <laughs> I'm so excited look at this hold on I hope it's a pretty color I always have to be careful with this packaging I can never get yep I ripped it okay this is from Mac uh, it's from Mac okay it is in the shade what is the shade oh my help if I looked at the bottom frost I thought okay it did say frost lipstick whatever hold on let me just ah oh, man now I'm sad Ugh. this retails for $18.50 I don't know. I guess I'll keep it just because, like, my club, um, sorority, like, it's a club, but whatever. <laughs> it's a club. Anyways, um, they, our shirts have orange on them, so this could look cute with that, but I've been using, um, one of the lipsticks that I think I got in, a Yes Oh Yas back in the day whenever they weren't shady, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, I might use this. I don't know. I'm kind of sad about it because like I love lipsticks, lipsticks and mascaras. I, I love them, but this just isn't, ugh, I want to look at it again. I don't know. Yes, I do. I don't like it. So, cause like, I don't want to swatch it just because like, like I don't want to swatch it and then be stuck with it because like you can't be selling, you know? Anyways, I'm not keeping this. That's a bummer because I've been really impressed. It's okay. That's just one. That's just one thing. The other two are great. We're just going to carry on into the next thing. So it looks like we got a palette from Violet Voss Essentials. Um, retails for $29. And this is what that looks like. Okay, very nice. Also, <laughs> I can see you. Um, it is very nice. I've heard a lot of good things about Violet Voss. Um, however, I just feel like I have so many eyeshadow palettes right now, and, like, yes, this is one that I would use, but I don't think it's one that I would, like, love and cherish, so I think I'm gonna pass this one on. It did retail for $29, um, and I'm not upset, don't get me wrong, I just, I have so many, I, I have a drawer right here that's just eyeshadow palettes, and, like, that's not necessarily, like, a bad thing, but, like, there's so many, and, like... A lot of them okay I guess it also includes blush palettes but like I've been using the James Charles palette like crazy um if I'd had time to do my eyeshadow today that's what I would have used and so I just I don't want to like I don't want this to like sit and expire because like I'm not gonna use it enough so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one on but like emphasizing that I'm not upset with it it really does look like a pretty palette I just have a lot right now that is four items so we're gonna get in the last one let me move all this bubble wrap out of the way the last thing that we got is from Dr. Brandt. Okay, that's really expensive. Yep, $52. And this is the Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, look at this. Y'all know me. Okay, I don't, like, live and breathe for skincare, but your girl loves face masks. I probably have more face masks than I have eyeshadow palettes. And, like, there's no reason for me to have that, but <laughs> I love them, and um, even sometimes Cody does them with me, and I just love that, and, like, it's a fun thing to, like, do with your sisters, or, like, your mom, or, like, your stepmom, yeah, like, there's so much that you can do with it, so this, so do you wear it while you're sleeping, because it does say recovery sleeping mask, the only reason that that makes me worried is because I do not just, like, like, I'm not, like, in a coffin when I sleep, like, I just... I roll around a lot like <laughs> sorry Cody I know but anyways let's see what it says because I really am curious it says a hydrating recovery sleeping mask that balances skin's naturally occurring flora and locks in moisture overnight to reduce redness and soothe the signs of irritation I'm gonna keep it I really am which is like of all the things like I know that I could sell this like no doubt 
Um, but I'm really curious about it. It's not huge. I keep opening and closing and reopening them. It's not like huge. Um, but I'm really curious. So I might just like try it one night and just accept the fact that I might have to wash my sheets the next morning if I toss and turn too much and get stuff on it. But I'm really, really curious about it. Ooh, ooh, let me, I kind of want to sniff it. Is that weird? It doesn't really have a smell. I don't know. I'm excited. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be trying that out. So, okay. Okay, I didn't like BoxyCharm the past few months. And I just realized they didn't... Oh, it doesn't have, like, the little foamy stuff that's usually in it. It just has the bubble wrap. I mean, everything made it here fine, so, like, I'm not mad. It usually has something like this, which, I mean, the reason that I have it this close... This one's from Ipsy. Is because I use them whenever I'm like packaging other things that like could break in the mail um, okay I'm kind of impressed um, I'm gonna do some mathy maths um, I'll be right back to let you know the total value of this month's box okay according to my calculations slash my calculators calculations this month was worth $153.45 and of that I am keeping these three things which I didn't add up but it's like 52 I don't know, 52, 72, 79, like $105. Sorry, that took me a minute because they weren't like all lined up. So like I had to like find them on here, whatever. But like, that's really good. I'm, I'm happy with BoxyCharm. I'm curious to see if, um, if Ipsy beats them again because they have, a lot recently um but yeah I don't know so let's go ahead and open <laughs> it see it's kind of heavy she a heavy girl she's also a damaged girl I don't know she was like maybe that's from me doing my makeup I don't know okay where's the card okay this one is find your light it's all about um new paths and possibilities Wow. Okay. And then it shows everything that we're getting and how much it is. And then it says something about a new thing. The Glam Bag Plus. Yeah, that's what I have. I don't know. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so they're changing some stuff. So, it says starting at the end of this month that we're going to get to pick one of the five items that are in our Ipsy. And then also, apparently, I guess some people have been missing, like, the bags. They said that they're going to start including those. Um, they didn't really give much information. They said, you asked, we listened. We heard our Glam Bag Plus members have been missing the actual Glam Bag. Well, guess what? It's back, and you're going to love it. Okay, and then it says pick up to five add-ons, which you could always add add-ons. Um, I've only done it, like, once, and I was really confused because they charged me shipping like, why didn't they just put it in my box? Because, I don't know. Like, I'm fine with it, but that confused me, and now I'm, like, weird about adding add-ons. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what we got. I'm really curious because I can definitely see this eyeshadow palette on top. <laughs> it's from Nomad Cosmetics. It is Berlin. Um, it does show the colors on the back, and I don't think that I'm going to keep this same thing. I love eyeshadow palettes. I really do, so I do enjoy getting them. But at this point, I'm kind of picky about them just because, like, like I said, I have a lot and I don't want to be wasteful. But anyways, this is apparently an Ipsy exclusive. Um, wow, it's a special edition. Yes. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I really do. Those really are pretty. Yeah, those are really pretty. They have like little skull impressions. Oh my goodness, one of my favorite YouTubers would love this. I haven't watched. She probably did. Um, she loves schools. She probably did love it. <laughs> I, I didn't watch hers because I didn't know anything I was getting this month. What does this retail for? This is a really cool palette. Um, okay, this retails. It says value 37. Obviously, it doesn't retail because it's an like, Ipsy exclusive. Um, but it's a Berlin Underground Intense Eyeshadow Palette. Um, inspired by the rebellious 90s counterculture. Okay. I really do like it. I'm not going to keep it. And it's really hard because I kind of want to just because of these. But I have similar colors to that. 
already in um, my Jaclyn Hill, one of the vault blends that I have. So I'm just going to put this back on top and maybe pass that on to a friend or something. It's really cool. That really, that's a, that's a fun start to this. I just feel so bad because like I don't want to, you know, I don't want to like, you know, I just, I don't want to be wasteful guys. Also, I'm sorry about this window lighting. It was happening before I filmed with that window and then I closed it and it was solved. But I guess the sun has moved. Something about astronomy. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I apologize about the light and the loud noise. See? Anyways, let's go ahead and jump in what the next thing is. This is from, I can never pronounce this. Is it like Ciate? Kiate? Kayate? I don't know. But it's Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Girl, you can, I go through translucent powder like nobody's business. Um, I'm working on two different ones right now. Actually, one of them's almost empty and I'm hitting pan on the other one. And then I still have the Becca one to use. Um, is this shimmery though? That's the only thing I'm worried about. The packaging is super cute. It wasn't closed all the way. I'm really glad that it didn't like leak or anything. Probably because there's one of those stickers. Okay, it's not shiny. So I am going to keep it. It retails for $22.00. Dollars and it does give a tip. It's up to bake and set areas with concealer. Pat a generous amount of the translucent powder over your concealer. Leave on for three to five minutes before sweeping off the excess. That's not a tip. That's just common knowledge. Whatever. Um. Okay. This is really cool. I the packaging is just super cute. Like, look at that. I might have to save it. Like, I don't know. I love doing the full face of new makeup videos. Um. The only thing that makes that hard is foundation because foundation is liquidy. I don't like to have more than one foundation at a time and when I do um I try to use like every other day one or the other and that's just because like they expire quick quickly I mean not like super quickly but like you don't want to mess with the expiration date on liquid products like that so like liquid highlighters you know concealers um primers like all that so um I really do want to film another one of those and I have makeup that I've wanted to try like set aside specifically for like a trying new makeup video so you'll probably be seeing one of those soon and if there's not a foundation like I'm sorry I'll just use my normal Clinique one um because I still have plenty of it so I don't want to go buy another one whatever I'm just not trying to be a wasteful human today okay but anyways I'm gonna jump in that's two products so far and I did say that this retailed for yep $22 so let's go ahead and grab the next thing this is from Madison Miller. Oh, Ofra with Madison Miller. I think I'm subscribed to her. I'm like 99% sure that I'm, is she like a tall blonde girl? Um, yeah, and I think Ipsy sends her like every product that they're gonna send out in the bag. I'm pretty sure that's who that is. I did not know that she was collabing with Ofra though. Wow, okay, I'm excited to see what this is. Ooh, 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 I just looked at the thingy. I really shouldn't have. Okay, so it's really cute. At first I thought it was dirty, but like if you look closely, they have like little triangles on it. I kind of thought that was dirt at first. So, ooh, ooh, I like this a lot. This retails for $35. Wow, I like this a lot. I feel so bad, I have so many blush palettes. Okay, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it. I am so excited, wow, okay says tip make the most of your palette by dipping a wet brush into pigments to use as eyeshadow I'm not gonna do that I have plenty of eyeshadows like I don't I mean fun tip cool I appreciate that oh there's a tip on all of them <laughs> my bad I thought that was special whoops anyways okay so that's three products so far and I'm keeping the Ofra and the brand I can't pronounce one so there's two more so I'm gonna grab this one seems small it says fewer better beauty essentials wander beauty what is it what is it? Why of all the things would you tape this teeny tiny thingy? I'm going to cut myself because of you wander. Ow. Hold on. I love that I said ow and I haven't even cut myself yet. Oh. I didn't cut myself. It was close though. What is this? I really hope it's not a lip liner. It probably is. Wander Beauty. Oh, it's a brown! pencil wow I'm so excited wow okay let's do a little swatchy swatch wow I really like that what's on this other end 
Oh, duh, little spoolie. I get, I still get so excited by those. Oh, wow, I'm so excited. Okay, so this retails for $21. That's actually really funny because I'm still using the It Cosmetics one. We did get it in BoxyCharm, and then I repurchased it with in the charm room because I loved it so much, and I have, like, maybe that much left. So, like, it could still last me, like, a hot minute. But I definitely, like, didn't have another one. And I was like, oh, Savannah, you do not need to get another one. Just use your brown eyeshadows. So I might still do that because I don't use brown eyeshadows a bunch unless I'm just doing a basic smoky eye. And I've done that more, to be fair. But, like, every palette is like, here's 15 brown shadows. Because that's exactly what we need, right? Anyways, I'm just so excited. Ooh almost dropped something I'm so excited so that retails for $21 oh my goodness there's only one more thing I'm just gonna go and look at it and then like add everything up so it's heavy okay disco kitten illuminating diamond peel off mask wow 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 I'm so excited okay 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 what's this why is this on top isn't that supposed to be on there I'm so excited. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, wow. I'm so, wow. I'm so excited. I'm literally, literally so excited. Come off. Come off. Please come off. I'm getting two face masks, guys. Wow. That's so cool. I just bought me a mini one that I definitely didn't need, and now I haven't opened it. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hold on. I don't have a napkin, so I'm going to use a sticky note. Ew, it kind of stinks. Okay, first of all, uh, that's super cute because it says Disco Kitten. I do care. Oh, no. I'm so sad that it's spilling out. Why did it do that to me? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just, like, throw this part away. Okay. Okay. Mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. I'm making a mess. Okay. I'm going to, like... I'm going to drop it in this bubble wrap so that it doesn't. <laughs> ASMR. Cool. Alright, welcome to my channel. Okay, I need a napkin, but all I have is a sticky note. All I have is a sticky note. I'm getting it all over myself. Because all I have is a sticky note. Yeah. All I have is a sticky note. Okay, I'm gonna have to wash my hands. Okay, I'm super duper excited. Okay, it's not like, it's just like, ah, I'm so, it's very, very liquidy. So I don't wanna like, okay, um, <laughs> new angle. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's just very, it almost looks like paste. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm gonna stick that on top. Thank goodness. I kind of wish it had just had that because then I wouldn't have had to pull so hard and then it wouldn't have spilt. But it's fine. I'm fine. I'm surviving. My camera's not at the same angle that it was. Love that. Wow. Okay. Wow. That was so good. What does that retail for? It retails for $23. Okay. <laughs> and now for a break from our sponsors. Just kidding. I don't have any of those because I'm basic. And nobody watches my videos. But yeah, so um, give me a break because I'm going to count up all this. So according to my calculations, this box is worth $138, which means that price-wise, BoxyCharm took the cake. However, BoxyCharm was not bad. It wasn't. I'm not going to cancel this month. It really was not bad. I got some really good things out of it. To recap, I'm keeping the Dr. Brandt Sleeping Face Mask, the Moda 5-Piece Deluxe Eye Kit, and the Laura Geller Highlighter. However, <laughs> Ipsy won, my dudes. Ipsy is so freaking good. Also, I didn't fill you in. Ipsy is $25 a month subscription service. We get five full-size makeup or skincare items sent to your door, plus shipping, plus taxes, blah, 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 blah. Um, but you can also do the Ipsy Glam Bag, Glam Bag, just without the plus. And that's $10 a month, plus shipping taxes, blah, blah, blah. And that's like five samples. So, yeah. Anyways, now that you're filled in. I'm super excited with this month. So I got the face mask, the blush and highlight palette, the um, setting powder, I mean translucent powder, but setting powder, and the brow pencil. The only thing I'm not keeping is the Nomad palette. Sorry for moving my camera like that. So 
honestly, this is a really good month. The only three things I'm not keeping are this MAC lipstick, this Violet Voss palette, and this Nomad palette. Wow, that's crazy. This was such a good month, guys. Okay, so if you get BoxyCharm or Ipsy or both, comment down below and tell me what you got. Like, were there any variations this month? Because I really didn't look. I've just been so busy, and I just... I haven't been paying attention. It was just wow. This was such a good month. But I want to know what y'all got. I want to know what you liked, what you didn't like. Is there something that I got that you've used before? And Any tips or tricks? All of that. And then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'm in a way better mood. So, bye babes!